Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Tracy. I'm Matt. I'm Grammy. Hi, I'm Aunt Bonnie. I'm Grandpa. I'm Daniel. She's Rhonda. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Hey everyone, it's so nice to see you. Today we're back working in the greenhouse. As you saw from outside, it's kind of a gloomy day. We're expecting rain basically all morning. So this is one of the days where it's okay to be working in the greenhouse. Well, I mean every day is okay to be working in the greenhouse, but when it's not nice outside, it's nicer working in here. So Matthew, what are we getting started with this morning? I'm planting early tomatoes. I planted, already planted some Goliath. I planted some red deuce. I'm planting early girl right now. And then I have some better boy, some beef steak, and then there's one more and I can't remember what the name of that one is. Now Matthew, where we live, it's the middle of March. Isn't it too early to be planting tomatoes? What are you doing? Yes, it's too early to be planting tomatoes. If you're at home, don't start right now. And what have you been working on? I come over here with the wheelbarrow, I take this, put it down, and it fills up the wheelbarrow. Daniel has been working on keeping the machine filled for Matthew and keeping pots filled. Now there's a special reason why we need to get started early. Because there will come times where it will be really nice out. We'll get two weeks of really good sunshine, some warm weather. And when people get that warm weather, ooh, they want to start planting. And even though where we live it might be too early, in other places it might not be too early. People from all over come and buy our plants. So we like to have plenty of tomatoes here available early. You got to give the people what they want. And what's nice about the tomatoes we're planting now, even if we don't sell them early, that just means we'll have nice large plants for later on in the year. And those sell pretty well. So we're working on a few different types of trays. We are working on 806s. These are eight packs of six cell trays. And then Matthew is also working on these single pots, these 32s. And we also have our larger six inch pots. Why is Daniel telling me you're grumpy today? What's going on? I spelled it early guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Is it early guilt or early giddle? You can just leave it. I think um, anybody will notice. It's only the beginning ones. The girls will never notice, I know that. Now while we are working over here planting tomatoes, we've got all of the girls over here working on planting different types of flowers. For example, Grammy's planting begonias. Man, we get you out of the kitchen, we get you down in the greenhouse, and we make you work. How does that make you feel? I like this. Oh, good, good, good. She likes it, she likes it. See, we're not forcing her, she likes it. She's not working by herself, she's working with her big sister, Bonnie. And what are you planting? I am planting impatience. Impatience, Oh, And then she also gets to work with her daughter, Rhonda. Rhonda is getting all the trays ready. She's getting all the pots filled. The boys are supposed to be filling my pots and they're not doing it. I, 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 we're in trouble, I gotta get out of here. Better get to work, Andrew. It's really hard to see that with that fluffy thing in the way.
This job's not too difficult when you're filling trays. It actually goes very quick with this machine. The only thing we have to worry about is filling the machine back up. Emergency, emergency, girls need help. Notice how fast I go. We wanted to help the girls out a little bit. We've got plenty of trays for them to work on at the moment. I don't even know how many is there. We just filled till they were all gone. Bonnie is still working on planting the flowers. We're moving things around and we're still working on planting. How do you feel about planting tomatoes already? It's exciting. Sun was shining yesterday and it's gonna shine tomorrow. Is it shining today? No, it's raining again. Story of our lives. As you can see over my shoulder, Dad and Matthew, they are back to planting tomatoes. Now we've got a few varieties we're working on and we don't plant nearly as many now as we do later in the season. Now we fill three different types of containers uh, when it comes to vegetable plants. We have our singles, we have our six inch pots, and then we have our 48 cell trays, which we call 806s. Depending on the popularity of what we are planting, sometimes we will do more of a certain type of container than another. It all depends on what we're doing. Since it's early in the year, we're only doing a select amount of each tomato, but later on in the year we'll have plenty more. When we've had a good morning so far, we've got a lot of tomatoes planted, we've got a lot of pots filled. Now we're heading up for lunch. And it is still gloomy and it's kind of raining out. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we're having. Ooh, for lunch we're having chicken patties. What's Graham you making over here? Dumplings? Oh, and french fries. And french fries? I knew I smelled fried food. We got a big group back here for lunch today. We got Tyler and Timmy. They're here. Tyler dumped way too much ranch on his sandwich. Wait. But we all helped. We all borrowed ranch. We're all finished with lunch now. I'm walking up into the germination greenhouse. I just want to see how everything looks today. Now, even though it is a little cloudy today, we're sitting at 82 degrees in the greenhouse. And as you can see, things are growing pretty well. Everything looks good in here. We have got the screen opened on the door, which allows air to move through. You have to be very careful, even on a cloudy day like this, it can get really hot in those greenhouses. We still have piles of snow laying around. For the time being, we're gonna get back into working on these tomatoes. We don't have too many more to plant, but what we do have looks really nice. For example, right here are our beef steak tomatoes, and we don't normally like to seed them in open trays like this. Uh, they get pretty lanky and there's not much room for root development, but in the early stages, this is okay. And something you have to remember with tomatoes, right where there's these little hairs right by the root base, as long as those hairs are there and you break off the roots on this tomato, it will still grow. We are now done transplanting tomatoes for the day. Uh, we are gonna be moving on to some flowers. And since we're moving on to flowers, that means we need more trays. So I'm heading down to greenhouse number five and I'm grabbing some 806 inserts. Here we go, here's the box. Just, we, we've lost all sense of uh, efficiency here. You know that. Yeah, right, I thought you could. I, we lost on that side. Oh, 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 I got I'll you. Do on this side. I was gonna say, we lost all sense of efficiency. My word. You're deficient at it. <laughs> what? What? You call me deficient? Yeah. So we just went through and filled a whole bunch of trays. Now we're not gonna be planting the flowers in here. We're actually gonna be 
planting them down in greenhouse number six. The flowers we're gonna be planting, they're a little hardier. They can handle the colder temperatures. So it's just gonna be easier to have them down there and out of the way. And since we're moving out of this greenhouse, we're gonna take a couple things with us. And one of the big things we're taking is all of this clematis. And when I drop one, basically this. Ah. We always want to watch out for doubles because we want to separate the doubles because if we don't separate the doubles then the plants won't get as large because they're going to be sharing root space and you need to have plenty of room for the roots for the plants to get to a nice size. With matrix yellow blotch and it'll be all Yes, that'll be a problem. Now, I don't like having to split these up. It kind of disturbs the root bases, but also by disturbing the root bases, it helps to keep these plants from getting root bound earlier on. So for these doubles, it's kind of nice that I'm able to just split them apart like that. I'm complaining today. Are you the only one allowed to complain? That's right. Okay, okay, just checking. Now with this job, what you see is kind of like what you get. Uh, there's not too much that changes. We do have to be careful with the root systems on these plants. Um, we've got to make sure we keep everything in order so that we don't get them confused with other flowers. Uh, but it's not too difficult. Nothing else to say. Say, I'm Andrew, they love that. Oh, Matt. <laughs> he thinks just because he's the youngest brother, he can bully us like that. According to mom, that's how it works. Now, so far we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. They're working on seven. So that's seven different colors of pansies. Now we have two more colors up in the upper greenhouse. So I'm going to grab them and bring them down. Dad, Andrew needs to realize I'm a man of little words. Yeah, I don't know why he sets the camera in front of us two who are busy working and don't have time to talk and then tell us to talk to the camera. It takes a lot of thinking for me to talk. And that's not one of your good attributes, is it? Dad? You are the smartest of all my children. Don't tell the other two boys that I said that. Now I know you're lying. Now some of you may be wondering if this hurts the plants stacking them like this. Oh, when they're younger like this, no. Now, if these plants were tall and spindly, it could be an issue. But because these plants are smaller and they're stockier and sturdier, then we're able to stack them. We just have to be careful when we move them. We don't pull them out of the soil. Go get that chair over there, you little whining baby. I'm not a whining baby. I'm telling mom. We just finished planting the last of the pansies. Now we need to find somewhere to put all of that clematis. So we're gonna continue putting pallets down through and place our clematis here. We have plenty of space between all of the pots. We might have to come down every once in a while and make sure they're all growing on their own trellis. When these start to get a little larger, they'll sell really quick, which makes it easier on us because then we don't have to worry about that upkeep. Since we're all done in the greenhouses for the night, the only thing left to do is take care of the animals. I don't know how much of the calves you guys have seen lately, but everybody looks pretty good. And we're getting some calves that have a lot of size to them. Oh yeah, you're getting big. Little chubby. We had a really beautiful day on our hands. It wasn't too chilly when I woke up this morning and all throughout the day we had really nice temperatures. Now what's really interesting is tomorrow the temperatures are gonna be up into the 70s. And the temperatures haven't been that high since last year. So I'm excited. We got dinner on the pot. What are we having for dinner tonight? Steak, fettuccine, Alfredo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That sounds pretty fancy. Oh, oh, well, hello. How are you doing today? 
How are you? Good? Oh. Alrighty everyone, we are all now at the table. We're getting ready to sit down and eat dinner. Callie has been locked in, so that means we are ready to go. Are you ready to go for dinner? Yeah! So that means this is where we're gonna be ending the video today, guys. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye.